Barbara Neely's Blanche White returns in Blanche Among the Talented Tenth. You may recall from the first book, if you were wise enough to read it, that she moved to Boston and enrolled her kids in private school, and now they're not quite the kids that she thought they'd be. You know, one of the things that Blanche uh, experienced in, in Blanche on the Lamb was the, the real cultural and class differences between her as an African-American domestic uh, housekeeper and the well-to-do white families. So she wanted to get out of that world, and she brought her children to what she thought would be a different environment, one where they could sort of see how the other half lives, and then she finds out maybe that's not the best way. The problem is her kids start to become the other half. They start to become snooty and judgmental, not the kids she wanted them to be. So when the kids are invited to a resort for well-to-do African-Americans, Blanche goes along too. And it's not just a resort vacation. With Blanche there, of course, there is a murder. And Blanche, as usual, gets drawn into solving the crimes. And, it's an, and, and what Barbara Neely has done through the Blanche series is really explore issues of race and class. But what we find in Blanche Among the Talented Tenth is that the issues of race can be within the same race, not just between the races.